Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Kara Wellington, welcome back to the Valder BB Show. How are you? I, I am great. Um, thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Well, I'm excited to have Tara Wellington on the Valder BB Show today to talk about Earth Day. Tara, tell us what we need to know about Earth Day. Well, I'm teaming up with a few brands uh, to give you some eco-friendly tips. And, you know, one thing is that there's a theme this year, and it's called Invest in Our Planet. And this just means that uh, government, businesses, and citizens would come together for a greener world um, and also to conserve those wild spaces. Um, One thing you can do in your own neighborhood is plant trees. This can help reduce those temperatures, capture the carbon dioxide, um, and help clean the air as well. Now, if you're going to be traveling this summer, one thing you can do is also, for another tip, is to visit a national park. When you're in nature, you appreciate it and you're more apt to preserve it. And so if you need a place to stay while you're visiting those parks, more than 75% of travel lodge by Wyndham hotels are found within an hour's drive of a national park. Um, you, this can serve as a base camp for your next adventure. Uh, they're a longtime supporter of the National Parks Conservation Association Association with ongoing commitment to preserve the nation's parks and other sustainability initiatives. And this month, there's a, a great deal that they have for Earth Day, 20% off two nights or more. You can go to TravelLodge.com. April the 22nd is the 52nd anniversary of Earth Day. You know, we started this in 1970. That's a long time, it seems like. But I think over a billion people are expected to take part in Earth Day activities. Can you give us some easy tips that can we can do? Right. So another easy tip is to uh, have greener food choices. So uh, one thing that you can do is meatless Mondays. This is an initiative where you don't eat meat on Mondays. Um, And this can help to supercharge your healthy plant-based diet. Uh, And by reducing meat, you reduce those greenhouse gases that impact climate change. Um, Also, you can choose products that follow more climate-friendly growing techniques. So an example for this would be Airly Foods. Um, They have the first ever climate-friendly snack that helps remove greenhouse gases from the air with every bite. Um, This is done through those innovative farming practices. And each box, when you turn it around, it tells you how much CO2 is removed from the air. They have four tasty sweet and salty varieties, cheddar, sea salt, chocolate, and salted caramel. That's pretty good. Okay, what can we do around the house to make it more eco-friendly? I've gotten rid of all of my toxic cleaners. Great. Um, Simplifying your cleaning is a good thing to do. Um, Looking for the non-toxic options as much as possible. Also, um, you can save energy around the home. As we're getting into the summer, see if you can install a ceiling fan that will not only uh, help you use less air conditioning, but also save on on electricity. It will make you feel comfortable as well. Um, Then there's the LED light bulbs um, that are widely available. They can help you save electricity and they can also last longer in some cases, uh, 25% longer than um, a regular light bulb and turn off the lights whenever uh, you can, when you leave the room and unplug those devices when they're not in use. I know it's a little off script for us, but uh, someone wants to know, posting from Twitter, how do you get your kids excited about Earth Day? And I think you're the perfect person to speak to that. Yeah, um, on simplemomsguide.com, I have a link there of some cleanup activities, cleanup events. Um, It can be a fun thing to do with your kids. Here, I'm in Los Angeles, so we can go and do a beach cleanup, for example. You get out into nature. There are organizations that have it all set up for you. It's fun to pick through the sand. Um, kids love getting involved in those kinds of activities because it's very active and physical and fun at the same time. 
I want my audience to know that Tara Wellington, you know, I speak to her quite often. She's one of my favorites. She's the editor-in-chief at simplemomsguide.com. Tara, other than your website, is there a place they can go and, and get more information about Earth Day? Yeah, so at Simple Moms Got simplemomsguide.com. I have links to everything that I've talked about. And there's some additional links there that will take you to 52 ways to be eco-friendly, um, all the cleanup activities, how you can have um, maybe a teach-in with your friends and neighbors to learn more about environmental issues in your area, a number of ideas. Here, Wellington, thank you so very much. You guys head on over there because I'm going over there and I'll be talking about these simple ways from simplemomsguide.com and how to celebrate Earth Day. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.